something strange on the food. Hear the weirdest tale that was ever told. From his rare depiction, some will swear it's fish pun. Yet, each peculiar twist that I tell is true. And you shall see it in my view. Right before your eyes, marvel as magic is on display. Right before your eyes, oh, might seem tragic, but then it's okay. Oof, a new surprise fights before your eyes.
such devastatingly lovely representatives of Scotland Yard. Got an official telegram with the two of you. Here you go. Wait, wait, what's it say? What's it say? It says, we're half of the boy. Give that to me. Blah, blah, blah. Parents, blah, blah, eaten by rhino. Blah, blah, oh, dear me. We are the only living relatives to an orphan child renaming James. Ew! Oh, we dabble. Done. And ah, it helps us. Wait a bit, Spikes. It 
the Manly Hot today. The seashore may be exactly what we made. Hmm, James. Run inside and grab the picnic basket from the fridge there. It's stuffed full of lovely bites, perfect for the big. Yes, Mom. Oh, you did not get your sandwiches, didn't you? I did. Oh, a day at the beach sounds delightful. All those men showing up all those muscles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sandwiches? We'll change into a baby costumes at the beach. Now, what else should we get you? Things will happen to you. 
splendiferous, spectacular things. The corn's concoction can be purchased at the auction, can be plucked from any shelf in any store. But if each step is taken, wild magic will awaken. Wild magic like you've never seen before. Open wide and crawl inside the skin of something new. If you believe what's up my sleeve, I'll spin a spell for you. And then said Melissa, a magical trip. It travels us skipping town. Once a bubbling broth is frothing thick and gobble it quickly down. Shake it down, shake it down. Mix around and around. Hear that bump, that pipe and pop in sound. Hit twist and turn. Let it bring, let it burn. We're gonna whip that potion up. Then gobble it down, gobble it down. Okay, James, what's it gonna be? I choose this one. Stay in cover, Delta. A connoisseur. First, we need these. Like they go. Now we must gather the rest of these ingredients and put them in here. Got it? Got it! Milk, cream, milk, a strand of silk, a rare bull sucking in juice, two raven's claws, four tiger paws, a marrow of a moose. Let me add to one soup, tarantula poop, the tiniest scoop will do. Then drop in a drop of sloppy and jump, made from chopped up
late. <laughs> that tree ain't had so much of a blossom, let alone the patron years. Whomever the crocodile tongues reach first. After all those years, the tree finally grew up, Pete. It's strange, isn't it? Auntie's look! What we should do is to go inside and have a look. It's grown even larger. Oh, what are we going to do with this, Spider? 
inventions, or be it gardening books, or be it a magazine. Oh, that's it, if you know. We're French, and we're gonna be famous. Do you think we could move to the seashore? Or perhaps take a trip? We ain't doing that. <laughs> but it was me who made the peach grow. Liar. Yeah. But I did make the peach grow. Yeah, you couldn't make my toe nails grow. But, oh, James, my dear, you foolish boy. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, James, whatever trotter. I, James, Henry Trotter, am a worthless, lying little boy. And no one will ever pay any attention to what I'm about to say because you don't matter. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever, ever, ever. So keep your comments and your clever little ideas to yourself. In Spanish, what do you think of my new scarf? Oh. It's not nearly as lovely as my new glasses. Oh dear, look what I've got. Stop! Please don't! <laughs> now, you listen to me, James. My little helper monkeys must be punished. So from now on, you will sleep outside. <laughs> sleep tight, little maggots. And if you think of running away, just remember, you can run, you can hide. But we're the only family you've got. <laughs> if this is what a family has to be, then I don't need one watching over me. A family doesn't make you sleep outside. A family doesn't laugh and say you might remember what a home is. Think of how your life should be. But you're stuck in the middle of love and can't roll out where you are.
myself, Ladybug. Hello, um, a little light, if you please. <gasps> Look who's here! My good boy, we've been waiting for you. The only thing I'm waiting for is dinner. I'm starving. <laughs> well, whatever are we to eat? <gasps> You're not going to eat me! Oh, whoa, whoa, help me with that! Help. Hold on, everybody. Calm down, calm down. I think there's been a little bit of a misunderstanding. What was that? Is it gone? Is it gone? Nothing to be afraid of. It was just a little boy. Little boys are the worst of his kind. He does have a point. I'm eating them. Take one step and I'll separate your head from your torso. Back enough. Proper introductions on order. I will go first. I am royalty after all. Says who? I am a lady. The lady follows the order of the Knights Porters. You know, the more sportsman has, the more respectable and intelligent one is. And who might you be? Uh, I'm James. James Henry Trotter. Does name. Oh, I think it's a fine name. I'm Grasshopper. And I'm Spider. Look at him eyes. Probably like a spider, aren't you, James? I wouldn't know. Oh, I'm Earthworm. You gave me quite a scare. But I'm prone to irrational fits of fear, so... Oh, what was that? What was that? It was just me shaking your head. I'm afraid he can't see very well. And well, he has no sports. I may not see very well, but my hearing is impeccable, Ladybug. And I'm Centipede. Think of me as the guy who's going to eat you while you're sleeping. What are you? We're insects, James, or at least we were insects. Until we ate the green thing. Now I'm afraid we're something quite different. You are the crocodile tongues! You must have eaten the crocodile tongues! Of course! So, James, tell us, what's the plan? Plan? We've got to get away from those horrible women as soon as possible. Nobody wants to hear what I've got to say. I told you it would help us to do it in my way. But I don't like his way. I don't like it at all. Come on, if we leave the safety of this speech, Hyper's bond will surely kill us all. Centipede is going to cut through the stone and the people roll gently down the hill. And then we can be free to go our own ways, back with our own kind. Oh. I've got it. I've cut through the stem. Our adventure begins. This is a very bad idea. Hold on tightly, everyone. Here we go. Thanks. Thanks, Henry Trotter. You better be back. Before your eyes. What is that noise? That noise was the giant peach rolling ridiculously towards Spiker and Spine. They gasped. <laughs> they screamed. <laughs> they tried to run, but the peach was terribly hot. And it rolled right over them. The peach flew through fences and fields, frightening farm animals of all shapes and sizes. Heading directly towards the village, where it crashed through the walls of one of the world's most famous factories. <laughs> now, this particular building happened to be a famous chocolate factory, but that's another story. Back to the beach. Right before the beach reached the chalky cliffs of Dover, right it soared right over the edge of the cliff. Seaworthy. He's right. The peach would have sunk by now. Where do you suppose we're heading? 
definitely France. The peach must have rolled up with exclusive Dover. The lovely French city of Calais is barely 20 miles away. We thought that we should be across the channel on dry land in no time at all. This peach ain't never gonna make it to France. Oh, drifting like this reminds me of my younger days, traveling on the breezes, not a care in the world, nobody to answer to, but my fiddle. Centipede's right, this peach will never make it to France, and we've no food. No water! Ah, the sky is clear and the sea is calm. There's nothing to do now but enjoy the adventure. Tally ho and away we go. Just catch this tune and sing it with me. We'll set ourselves on up for sea. No place where we gotta be. So go. We're traveling off where nobody's been. How true adventures always begin. Take a ride on the tide, bob and hide. Take a low.
But not to France is one thing, but an oceanic journey? Oh, I'm not prepared, not prepared at all. This is the only outfit I have. With my glasses. I have hundreds of glasses. Hundreds. Right. Because the change of costume and glasses are exactly what we need in a crisis. Would you kindly remove your umbrella so I can see? It's a parasol, not an umbrella. No, not. My skin mustn't be exposed to the sun. It'll dry and crack. It's an alarming sight to see. We'll all die of thirst and starvation long before your sensitive skin cracks. Dear. I propose we eat the human. All those in favor. Nobody is eating anyone. But we must eat something or we'll die. There is something we can do. What's that, James? I'm sure none of you want to hear what I've got to say. Goodness me, why would you ever think that? Come on, whisper to my ear. If I think it's a good idea, then I'll tell the others. Go ahead. It's a silly idea. You can tell by the look on her face. On the contrary. I think it's such a clever idea that James can tell you for himself. Go on. I'd rather not. Oh, it'll be all right. I promise. It's just that, um, well, we have all the food and water we need. Where? Look down. Salt water. You know we can't drink it, right? But we can eat the peach. Of course. But, but we'll sink. And then we'll drown. Well, Russian servings, that's how I'm digging in. Just a moment. Let us do this properly with a bit of decorum. Grasshopper, would you mind playing? I'd be delighted.
tighten your weight. And the beat is soft and right. The thing will ride over us. And then it rolls away. Far, far away. Smack up. The boy. What's the cut of it? Who cares? He's probably dead. But don't you find it strange that both the boy and our peach disappeared on the very same night? We've got bigger problems than the boy. Did you read any of the contracts we signed? Mm, only the parts about the money coming in advance. Do you know what an advance is? Yeah. Ooh, all the money we get for signing their contracts. It's money paid in advance. In advance of what? Delivering on all the promises we made. TV appearances, magazines, movies. Can't do any of it without a little giant paint. Uh, so this is bad. It's worse than bad. You quit. We could go to jail. Oh, I can't go to jail. Made from iridescent jewel beetles with purple laces. These 
shoes were unbelievable. My family, we were in the sock and shoe racket. We're pretty famous in the bug world. Oh, yes, yes they are. Just as I was lacing the final boot, there was a flash of light, and suddenly the room was filled with poisonous gas. My granddaddy pushed me to safety, but everyone else, my mom and dad, and even granddaddy, well, none of them made it. They were fumigated by spike and sponge. In the great raid of 59, Monsters! They did everything! Even ladybugs! Who doesn't like ladybugs? I like ladybugs. <laughs> Spiker and Sponge were horrible to everyone. Spike and Sponge were different than any of you humans. Centipede! James is one of us! Is a human boy. His kind pulls off our legs or burns us with magnifying glasses. He is not one of us. He will never be one of us. In your James, his type are pets. In your type are snobs. James, you haven't said anything about your parents. Where are they? Yes, they must miss you terribly. It's all right, James. You can tell us. My parents were in a horrible accident, and now they're gone. Oh, James, I'm so sorry. That's why I was sent to live with Spiker and Sponge, so I could be with my family. They certainly didn't act like family. Families are kind. And patient. Family loves you whether you're a boy or a girl, or in my case, both. <laughs> James, I've lost my family as well. That's the point, and I miss them terribly. I miss my mom and dad every second of every day. Of course you do. James, your parents are with you always. They are? Of course they are.
pace. These waves make me feel, oh, oh no. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, that's much better. Look, out oh, there, it's a sea monster. It's a sea monster. What is that? What is that?
problem is, there is no problem. <laughs> oh! But there is a problem, which each of you continues to ignore. Do you remember what happened to your fiancé, Spider? Or your family, Ladybug? Or yours? Or yours? And mine? They're all killed by humans. Oh, sure. The human that saved the day this time, and aren't we all lucky for that? But you listen to me. One day soon, the human's gonna get tired of playing with us bugs, and that'll be that. Squish! Splat! Zap! We'll all be. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, what? 
with us forever. <laughs> after we fumigate the box, of course. Here, body, body, body. Stop! Stop it right now. You two are mean, nasty, horrible people, and you will not. Exactly. 